Hey everybody, this is Mr. Math Blog, and um, uh, this lesson is linear inequalities in two variables. So we're going to be drawing lines or uh, constructing lines and shading them one side or the other. Don't forget, all your lessons can be found at MrMathBlog.com. So hey, if you guys can, uh, would you click like on this video? It helps encourage me. And if you can find uh, me on Facebook, that'd be pretty cool too, Mr. Math Blog. Okay. All right, so here we go. A solution of uh, an inequality in two variables is one or more ordered pairs that'll make the inequality true. So one or more, or uh, two or, uh, variables, two variables is going to graph us a line. So let's graph each linear inequality. Here's the first one, 3x plus 5y greater than 30. Okay, in this lesson, they're going to ask us to solve for y. So let's go ahead and do that. Subtract 3x. Now we're going to divide everything by 5, okay, and so we get y is greater than or equal to negative 3 fifths x plus 6. So I'm going to graph this plus 6 first right here, so let's go ahead and do that. There's that. Um, uh, oops, and it's going to be a solid line, you guys, so we're going to graph the line, sorry, y equals negative 3 fifths x plus 6, and it's a solid line because there's an equals bar right there. If it was just greater than, it would be a dotted line or a dashed line, as this textbook likes to say. So there's that plus 6 right there. And then the slope is negative 3 fifths. So this means go down and to the right. Always go to the right. So this goes down 3 and to the right 5. So I'm going to go down 3. These are going by 2s. So there's 2, there's 3, and I'm going to go to the right 5. So 2, 4, 5. Five, right about there. You guys with me? Okay, so then let's uh, connect it with a line, and now we're going to shade uh, one side of the line. We're either going to shade below here or above here. So let's test a point to make sure if it's true or not. So I like testing 0, 0. The only time you can't test 0, 0 is if the line goes through 0, 0. So try something else like 1, 1 or 5, 5 or something easy. Okay, but 0, 0 is the easiest one if the line doesn't go through it. So if 0, 0 makes this inequality up here true, then I shade the side 0, 0 is on because it was true. It means all the points on this side. If it makes it false, that means it's going to be the other side of the line. So let's put in 0, 0. Is 3 times 0? I just put it into this inequality up here. 3 times x plus 5 times y. So 3 times 0 plus 5 times 0. Is that greater than or equal to 30? No. So we shade the other side of the line. Since 0, 0 is on this side, we're going to shade over there. Okay, and that means all of these points in this shaded region would satisfy this inequality right there. If I picked any point, let's say I went and did 6, 6, it would make it yes. Watch, 3 times 6 is 18, 5 times 6 is 30, 18 plus 30 is greater than 30. So that would, all those points would be yes, okay? All of these points would be no, okay? So we just shade. All right, let's try this one, okay? So this one is going to be a dotted line because it's uh, just less than. Let's solve for y again. So we'll add 14 to both sides, okay? Then we'll divide by 2. And so there's our equation. So now we're going to graph the dotted line, y equals negative 1 half x plus 7. So here's 2, 4, 6. So here's 7 right there. And then we're going to go down 1 to the right 2. So right there is going to be the other point. So there's the plus 7. Down 1 to the right 2. Okay, so now it's a dotted line. There's the dotted line. Let's test 0, 0. So does that make it true right there? So remember, this is x right here, so here is uh, negative 14, negative 14 plus 2 times y less than or equal to negative x. Is that true? Well, we're going to find, yeah, that is true. So we're going to shade the side 0, 0 is on. All these points would be yes over here. All of these points would be no back up into there. Okay, so it's the whole region of points um, uh, on that side of the line. All right, let's write a linear inequality to represent this information. So we're not graphing this one. We're just writing a linear inequality, okay? So Elijah can spend at most $8.25 on snacks for a party. Carrots cost $2 per bag, and grapes cost $0.75 cents per bag, okay? All right, so we're going to let x equal the number of packages of carrots, or the number of bags, I guess, and now y equal the number of bags of, of grapes, okay? All right, so then uh, we're going to use um, uh, less than or equal to for at most, because somewhere it said uh, at most, so he can't spend more than that, so he can spend at most, so up to, so like I'm, I'm at most 53 years old. That doesn't mean I'm 54, I'm not 55, I'm at most 53, so I'm 52 and a half. 
Anyway, so here we go. So cost of the carrots plus the cost of the grapes at most eight twenty five. Okay, so carrots cost two bucks a bag. So if the X is the number of bags, it's two X. This is uh, 0 0.75 times Y for the grapes. And then we'll use our at most symbol. All right, and we get that right there. Okay, so now uh, let's solve for Y. Okay, so solve the inequality for Y because they would like us to. So let's subtract the 2X. Okay, there we go. Now we're going to divide by 0.75. And I did that over here. You can't have a, a decimal in a fraction right there. So what I did is I multiplied it by 1. But my 1 was 100 over 100. That way it moved the decimal over two places. So it became 75. Negative 2 times 100 is 200. There's the negative right there. Okay, and then 25 goes into that 8 times. 25 goes into that 3 times. So that's how we get that equation right there. All right. Okay, so here where they want us to write a linear inequality to, that uh, models this situation right here. Okay, then they give us a series of questions right here. Okay, so the slope of this line, let's pick a known point right here. Okay, these, these uh, squares are going by twos. So I'm going to go from here to here. This looks like it's, a, it's about halfway. My line's a little bit off. Should be right about there. Okay, let's pretend like it's right there. Okay, mine's just a little bit off. So it went up two, four, and it went over two, plus one more is three. So the slope is four over three, rise over run. Okay, the y-intercept is right there. There's the y-intercept. So there's two, there's four. That must be three right there. There's the y-intercept. So the boundary line is y equals mx plus b. So y equals four-thirds x plus uh, three right there. Okay, uh, that would be our boundary line. So the boundary line on this is a... Uh, is um, uh, this is a dotted line or the book calls it a dashed line right there and the shaded region is is this shaded region if I had to say it's above or below the line this side over here I would say it's above the line right there okay so the graphs and the symbol is going to be um, uh, greater than because it's above greater than usually means shade above so the inequality is going to be y is greater than this stuff right there Okay, all right, you guys, if you are in my class, I would sign that for your homework.